so a little expansion on the idea of uh, Quentin Tarantino uh, directing a Star Trek film. I'm of the opinion uh, Quentin Tarantino recreates Star Trek. Look at it from the point of view of uh, what what you know what does technology know today? Uh, how do we know to travel in space? What uh, you know? What do we think alien life forms could be like? And uh, so that as a start, I think it then becomes a question of like, well, other alien races, they would be similar to humans. It's, I, I think you have to just realize that, um, you know, if you put a list of like requirements on a board, like, you know, all right, a sentient space fairy species would have to know this, know that, uh, you know, have, have eyes, have hair, have nose, have, nose, have clothing, uh, have hands they can work with, you know, use tools with, etc., etc. Um, and so, you know, check off all those boxes, you're going to end up with something that is looks very similar to a uh, human being. Um, you know, it's just some unique, odd, whatever differences. And, um, the other thing is that all these uh, other planets with uh, sentient life on them um, would run the same gamut as uh, humans on Earth in terms of personalities and professions and lifestyles and outlooks. Uh, you wouldn't be able, like you can't make necessarily blanket statements about a, a certain race of uh, beings. Um, so that's a, you know, another interesting little challenge. Um, and so and then it becomes a question of like, well, how do you engage in the space travel? How do, you know, would one alien race uh, connect with another? And a rough idea in the back of my mind is uh, the Vulcans. Um, and it can be whatever origin story, like, I mean, if, like, what, apparently the uh, Vulcans and Romulans, uh, you know, started from the same race. Uh, I mean, if you want to maintain that, um, have it that they're you know, this alien race uh, on uh, Romulus <laughs> uh, decides, like, okay, uh, we want to travel to the other stars, you know, in the galaxy, in the universe, but it's it's you know, such a challenge, it's so difficult, how would we do it? And so they decide, like, well, we'll build a giant space station, or space uh, city, uh, that is, you know, a giant orb, uh, and, you know, houses a small city of people, uh, has, you know, plants and animals, everything to sort of, you know, maintain life, um, and it becomes a floating sort of university science laboratory. Uh, it's like, you know, the sole purpose of this structure is to explore science and uh, hopefully, ideally, uh, discover something at the next star system that it's sent to. And over the hundreds of years of this space city floating through uh, space, the, the people, they engage in whatever radical ideas and therapies, and, and, and they essentially turn themselves into living uh, machines. And so that's where uh, Vulcan comes from. Like, you know, they, they call the spaceship Vulcan. They, this new race of beings, they realize that they're different from their, their ancestors. What they started out as 
uh, these sort of base biological entities, and as a result, uh, they are uh, different. You know, they they are this different uh, race, and you know they can kind of consider themselves elite, etc. Um, so timeline-wise, somehow or other, they discover the humans. And they decide, like, okay, uh, we'll go meet with the humans. Uh, human scientists and the Vulcan, or, or there's the Vulcan scientists realize, like, well, there's there's things we can do. We just don't have, don't have the resources because we're on a uh, floating space city. We need to go near a star and start interacting with the uh, the you know, resources of around that star to uh, create the machinery to travel amongst the stars. Um, and so poten potentially that's how they encounter uh, uh, Earth and human beings by they, you know, they're, like, you know, they're taking a chance on the, uh, you know, a star to go to and they decided, or they lucked out in that it's Earth. And um, so through the interaction with Earth, uh, Vulcan develops space travel, you know, war 